put it on this computer. All right, you guys, it's Wednesday night, and you know what that means. It is time for Notary Meet and Greet. Welcome to our weekly kind of chat session where we kind of just get together and talk about things that we got going on in our notary business. And if we, if we have issues, we help each other out. And it's super casual, so I'm glad you guys are here. We always start it off by seeing if there's anybody that has anything that they want like help with. So we start a line. So raise your hand if you have anything that you have a question about. And we'll do that first, and then we'll just open the floor and get into our discussion. So Sharon, your hand is up. How can we help? Hi, good evening. Good I, evening. Have, a question, I have a question about um, search engine optimization. I'm struggling with that. Ooh. And I just need some help with that. You so are. I, I recently moved from one city nearby to another and um i don't know it just seems like it's just a challenge to to get myself situated in terms of my google my business page i did go follow the training that you had i don't know three weeks ago right or so um but yeah that's been a struggle for me so i just wondered if anybody has any suggestions or is any outside help i can get or what do you recommend anybody Notary Brittany, do you have any SEO tips for getting to come off new? So um, how are you on your backlinks? Like, are you, are you putting your website, um, your website address on all of your directories, like SnapDoc, Signing Order, Notary Cafe? Like, have you done that or are you not doing everything? Long? Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. And then when you're setting up your so your website itself, are you doing a Google hosted website or do you have a separate, like an actual like self-hosted website, like on WordPress or Wix or something? Uh, yeah, I have a GoDaddy, you know, one that I created on GoDaddy when I got started. Okay. In your GoDaddy, you should have the ability to put in a header or a footer script. And on that, you should be having your, your, um, your location setting on that. That okay. is, um, it's something that they don't see on the front end. It's not going to show up on your website, but it's in your scripts. So that way, when Google tracks everything, it'll show up that that website belongs to that IP in that city and state. And that's what helps mm -hmm. rank it up. Um, I have a form that I can actually send you. Can you drop your email in the box and I'll send it to you and it'll show you how to add your location in your scripts. Thank you. I'll do that. Wow. That was a nugget. I ain't never even heard about that before. I, mean, I heard about the backlinks, but I never heard about the um, the location part or the that the last part that you went over. That was a, a golden nugget, but I'm just so not techy. Sharon, did that answer your question? Yes, thank you so much. You are welcome. Wayne, your hand is up. You're up next. Hey there, you covered the um, remote online notarization group last week. Yes. I, had, I just completed signing up with a um, with a, a platform today. There, it's under review. So, am I still eligible to join you all? Absolutely, because we're actually launching that on September the first. So you've mm -hmm. got time to get your profile created over at the Notary Nerds Network. You got time right. to get your social media together. So when they click on the links, they, you know, they, you can tell them about what platform you're using and all the things that you do. Right. Because on September the 1st, I am, I am going to be deploying this. Let me share my screen for, um, this is a click funnel and this is my notary click funnel. But now that I figured it out, all I got to do is change the videos and target it towards my attorneys. So starting in September on the 1st, for everybody who is, I really need Ron, and I can't wait to talk to you, Amy, because I really think this is getting ready to change the whole entire game. So to answer your question, yes, Wayne, you are still gonna be eligible because the attorney click funnel is gonna be deployed September 1, and I'm gonna be bringing people from uh, out in the interwebs over to, over here, I think I'm bringing them over here. Nope, over here. Anyway, I don't know where I'm bringing them, but I'm gonna be bringing them somewhere. So 
Thank you for the question. Who else we got? Anybody? All right, you guys. Well, the floor is open. Your girl has been busy. My, I have been, I, I got to keep my keyboard tied into my computer because I've been wearing it out. It's been running low because I have been focusing my efforts on trying to figure out the next way that I could add value to the notary public's business. The notary, the notary, yeah, the notary public's apostrophe S business, right? And two days ago, when I, when I by accident discovered that Kajabi, which is, this, which is the training platform that I use for Notary Nerd University, it already has an inbuilt membership platform. So discovering that, knowing how I've heard from all of you guys, you guys have got a lot of knowledge under your belt. You spent a lot of money on training. You spent a lot of money on stuff trying to get your business set up. Now, what I'm hearing is it's time to make some money, right? So it's time to get to, to the place where the consistency is there so you don't have to worry about DoorDash and Uber Eats, going back to work corporate, doing all these other things. So when I realized that that membership site was in this software that I've already been using and I was doing the attorney marketing funnel anyway, it just went bing. Let the notaries come over here in the directory make my opt-in for my attorney funnel free access to search notaries all across the country. Let them mix and mingle. You guys make money from them calling you. If you don't answer your phone, I can't do nothing for you, okay? I'm not taking a split yet, okay? I'm not charging yet. It's all gonna be included in the people who are paying monthly. You guys are gonna get access to this first. I'm going to the American Bar Association. I'm going to the cities that y'all tell me to go to. I'm going to get several attorneys from each of them three cities and I'm going to send them my click funnel. Okay. And my hope is that they will take advantage of the free offer to sign up, go in there and search for the zip code that they need or the city or this, however they want to do it and make connections. Okay. I'm not handling any payments or money. That's between you guys. So here's what you guys need to do. You need to take Brittany's branding your business class, okay? This is something that's very important because with attorneys, you do not get a second chance to make a good first impression. You need your social media. You need your email signatures. You need everything together, okay? We need, you need to go have somebody look at it if you don't feel like you know if it's looking good or not. But whatever your social links are. And currently this membership directory only allows you to do Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So those are the three accounts that you need to go clean up if they're not cleaned up. Okay, any questions so far? Here's where the Ron notaries have a very special opportunity. This whole thing is designed around the target audience of the solo practicing attorney because they have a, a unique set of pain points. They're, they don't have a staff. So like a five to nine person firm who may have an assistant or a paralegal or somebody there that probably a notary, this solo operating attorney does not. So that's their first pain point. Their second pain point is like all other attorneys, they don't have necessarily, even if they did have a staff person, they don't have somebody that can go do notarizations in the evening, right? So they need to connect with people who are willing to do those signings after business hours. That's their second pain point. Um, their third pain point is people are moving and shaking. They're in this state one day, they're in the they're on vacation out of the country the next day, but guess what? This case that they're working has to continue to move forward. So notarizations, documents getting notarized in spite of their clients being out of the city or the state are going to be very, it's going to be very helpful for them. So that's where the remote online notaries are going to have a unique opportunity with this specific target audience. So we've identified three key points and we're, we're going to solve all three of them. And we're going to add a fourth. This fourth one popped into my mind a couple of days ago, notary case manager. 
I was watching, studying, learning more about my target audience. I went to YouTube. I said, how to start a law firm. I got several videos of people giving people advice on how to be a solo practicing attorney. I listened to those videos and the, and the, and the advice that they gave. One of the things that was said was, you need to hire a case manager sooner rather than later. Apparently, a case manager is someone who helps the attorney move the case forward while the attorney focuses on going and gets, getting more business, right? I'm pretty sure there's a set, special set of skills. Um, paralegals, people who have been paralegals in the past would probably be best suited for this. However, he did indicate that you could train someone to your liking. So attorneys are already of the mindset that if I find the right person, I could probably train them to do what I need them to do. Now, that's for those of you who want to do that type of thing, right? But at the minimum, you've got the, I'm solving your mobile notary pain point, or if I've got Ron, I'm solving, solving your Ron pain point. So if you are Ron and you're new to this, now it's time for you to get your stuff together, okay? You need to get all your pieces, okay? Figure it out. You need to know your numbers. Write down this website, pricingfornotaries.com. I'm going to put it into the chat. www.pricingfornotaries.com. That if you guys are at Notary Nerd University, all this is, is my pricing training um, that we did a few weeks ago. If you do not know your numbers now, it's not gonna help you when these attorneys call you. These attorneys are gonna call you and they're gonna wanna know what you'll charge to do a will, what you'll, what you'll charge to do a trust, what you'll charge to do these different things. And you don't need to go try to figure those numbers out then. You guys are getting six weeks notice because it's only July the 20th. This, this rolls out September the 1st. So you got all this, the time in the world to go back and revisit that training and come up with your standard pricing because attorneys are intimidating, okay? And if they smell blood, which they're trained to do, you don't stand a chance. So you need to have it together. You need to have your one sheet. You need to go back to the branding class and get, once you figure out your training numbers, go back and get your branding together. If that means you got to go pay, this is where you pay. This is the good money you can spend. You spend, this is the good money you can spend. Getting your executive folders, getting paying the, get the branding together, getting your logo done, making sure your email signature, you got time. But this is the thing. These are attorneys, people. This is not just us on Google My Business. This is some highly targeted marketing. I'm being real funny style about the profiles. You can't type in all caps. Your name can't be Samantha underscore one, two, three. Okay. First name, last name. City, comma, state, zip, just like we were all taught in school, right? So we're going to make it where this, this directory, when they log in, they see a bunch of professional faces and a bunch of links to where they can go check you out at. And here's another thing, and this popped in my head today. With these social links, it would not be a bad idea to go start you a new Instagram or a new Facebook page dedicated, especially if you're Ron, right? If you are a Ron notary, because I was thinking about this today, because I went to my Instagram for notary nerds and I was like, Lord, I'm doing some of everything on, on here, right? It's, it's all over the place. It's not focus on anything. So if I was to send somebody from, if the, one of the attorneys clicked on my Instagram, they'd see I was a, I'm, I'm a cool person. I like to have fun, but it has nothing to do with notary stuff. You know what I mean? So if, the, if you're like that, you might want to consider streamlining a, a page specifically for your wrong, specifically for whatever it is that's special about you to this attorney, either that mobile evening feature the Ron feature, or everything all about how you would be great and trainable as a notary case manager. Your social media needs to be streamlined, folks, between now and September the 1st, okay? Because what's going to happen is they're, either the connections are going to get made or they're not. I, I believe that they are because I'm very optimistic because we've, we've after seven months of Notary Nerd University and hearing all the trainings and all these different things that we can get our, our, our hands in, 
The only thing that makes perfect sense all the time is having strong relationships with attorneys because that's one group that's going to need you every single week in some capacity if you get enough of them in your circle, right? Not only that, by you positioning yourself as a notary case manager, you can promote to them, I can help you grow your business. You didn't want to get into real estate closings? Well, guess what? I'm your person. I'll do all your signings. You didn't want to get into bankruptcy? Well, guess what? I'll do your petitions, right? You didn't want to get into divorce because you've got to do all this running around with documents, getting one party to sign to the next? Guess what? Add divorce to your repertoire. I'll be your notary that handles all of that. So you have to think outside of the box and always keep in mind that, yes, this is you doing it now, but you're only doing it, drop it in the chat. Why are we going out and doing the work? For one reason only, to do what? To train the trainer. That's right. For your SOP manual. SOP. Mm -hmm. That's the only, you're, every time you run out on a signing, it's a covert mission. Okay, that's all it is. Don't get comfy. Yes, you're going to get your money and all that, but don't get comfy. It's a covert mission. Did my payment processor work well? Did I get them the Google review link right afterwards? How long did I have to wait? Do I need to institute a wait policy on my fee schedule now? Every aspect of your movements from when you leave the house to when you get back is intel for your standard operating procedure manual. Because eventually you're going to replace yourself. But you need your SOPs for this. You need your SOPs for that. And the only way to get that is to do the work. So that, that right there is it. So that's what I got. What else do you guys have? Um, Sharon, yes. Uh, one other question that came to mind as far as it, uh, giving a link. Now, I don't know. I, maybe I, I need to level up on my, uh, I have, Google Voice as my second number for my business. However, every time I try to get, send a link to someone that way, they can't click on it, it's not clickable. So I was wondering, has anyone heard of a QR code for Google My Business where you can just have someone just with their phone, click on it and go right to your, to leave a Google uh, review for you? Have you heard of that? I haven't, but I know it's possible. But that Google review link is it should be something that you could just text to yourself and always have in your phone. Yeah, I always have it in my phone, but if I try to send it to someone um, through my Google My Voice number, that's oh. the problem. Maybe I just maybe I just need to call them and see yeah. if there's a remedy. You know, I think maybe I, think, I would just put it out there. Gotcha. That's a really good idea. Because any link can be turned into a QR code. So Sharon, that's a really good idea. To go ahead and to avoid any types of issues like that happening, go ahead and get your Google review link, turn it into a QR code, and there's free, just go free QR code creator, and you'll be able to find the QR code, uh, and then you'll be able to make a QR code fairly easily. So it's not okay. going to be a hard thing, but, but Canva, Vistaprint, get your QR codes printed and have them with you. That would be a good thing for you to have as a handout, especially if it's a... Um, if you, if you could access your appointments too, but there's, you've got to have one QR code at a time. So thank you, Sharon, for bringing that up. Thank you. What else we got? Hey, I have a question for uh, Brittany. Uh, Brittany, do you think it would be okay to put the, key, the, the uh, QR code on the uh, one sheet somewhere? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. That okay, good. Yeah, um, that good. I had a question for you, Monica. Yep. <laughs> Going back to our Notary Nerds Network. Yeah. Um, I can't figure out, I don't know what I'm missing. And I'm a tech person. I can't okay. figure out how to do it. Like, is it not open yet for everybody else? Like who's already a member? Right. So it's oh, okay. So you have to have, I got my data from Stripe. So if you are have a if you have one of the recurring subscriptions from Stripe, then okay. I I pulled down that database. I uploaded it over here, or I didn't even upload it. I just sent out an email to everybody from that Stripe export. So you've okay. got to be a paying member at Notary Nerds University to get the invite to be in this network. Okay. Right. So if you've been granted an offer for whatever reason, then that offer is still yours. You get access to the library, 
but you have to actually be a paying subscriber in order to access this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. Anybody else? I don't understand what, Br what Brittany just asked. So, Brittany, you want to ask it again? I was just asking for, so there are those of you who are paid members for the program, but then there are other people who are like instructors or moderators oh, or something. Oh. So we don't have access to that yet. It's, it's basically just you paying members. If you're members of Notary Nerd, you get this. Okay. Notary Life with Kimmy. Hi, Monica. Hi, everybody. Hey, how I, are you? I, Monica, I just wanted to tell you, I'm good. Thank you. I did your pricing class and it was simply amazing. Thank you. Yeah, that price, look, let me tell you, thank you again. That right there comes from 10 years of self-employment as a single mother of four boys with two dogs. I know where- Man, It was amazing. You have to, when you are self-employed and you can't, especially going through the winter, which is why I'm so- getting passionate about you guys making money now because it's been seven months of a lot of learning and it's about to be we're in third quarter we're about to go into fourth quarter having been self-employed for the last 10 years fourth quarter is tough folks okay it's july everybody feels good now you got a little money here you got a little money there but what's about to happen is it's going to be changing and we've got to figure out a way to plug at least identify another source of revenue in order to be able to supplement everything else we already have going on. And it takes, and I've been in sales, my first job, sales job. Well, I can't count first sales job. I got my start in sales in a city called Skullbone, Tennessee. It was my responsibility to take my 14 karat gold plated jewelry wrap and go door to door and sell my 14 karat. And I told him it was going to turn green in two weeks and how to keep it out the water. And I sold the hell out that 14 karat gold plate of jewelry. And what I learned during that process is it takes time to build a pipeline. It takes a couple of go throughs before you can start getting that. Yes. If you wait until October or November to start to try to get business from somebody, you're going to be looking at March before you start reaping rewards from that. Do you want to go through that? Or do you want to go ahead now and start putting in the work to develop a new pipeline, maintaining your other pipelines, mind you, and be looking at a couple of things coming through? Because as a real estate broker, I can tell you this right now. I, and you guys that took the, an entrepreneurial mindset shift uh, class, you already know. Back in December, I was expecting 14 grand to hit my account. There was no reason it shouldn't have. Cash deal, no contingencies, no issues other than at the end, there was you know a title issue that could have been resolved, we could have closed, but my client preferred to do it a different way. That different way took six months. So I can't tell my client, hey, I need that money so I can pay my mortgage. That's not how it works. First and foremost, as a real estate broker, I knew better than to count that before it was closed. Okay, that's the first mistake. Okay, but it happens. But my point is, you don't want to have just one source of income. When that happened, I pivoted. I pivoted like a joke. You want to stop pivoted. Okay, I started Notary Nerds on January the 1st. That deal was post closed on December the 14th. Okay. It took me January and Notary Nerds didn't take all the way off right the first 30 days. Why? Because like I said before, you have to give yourself time. You have to give yourself time, 90 days at minimum to build up anything. So my whole thing for you now is where we are in July, we're in the third quarter. Are we in the third quarter or are we in the second quarter? So we're in the third quarter, second quarter is over with. May, January, February, March, April, May, June. Yeah, we're in the third quarter now, beginning of the third quarter. So now is the time to start developing this pipeline, which is why this network is gonna be so fire, okay? Because it's not gonna be me shooting out to the sky and hoping I'm getting the right people. It's me going into your cities, going over to my American Bar Association database, 
sending them a link to my click funnel, okay? And letting it do the sales for me. It all starts with that opt-in. We've all been click funneled. We've all given an email for a free something, the PDF, the free training or whatever, okay? They get the, their opt-in is search for professional notaries for free all across the country. That is the, that is where everything comes together. And then from there, we're just going to see what happens. So my hope and prayer is that I hear people say, oh my gosh, I got a call. This attorney wants me to come and da, 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 da. And it looks like, you know, he'll probably be using me pretty regularly. That's what I want to start hearing because we don't need to learn nothing else. You know, and if you're very new and you haven't started in on, you know, learning that that comment was not for you, you still can still learn. OK, but for those of you, you know who I'm talking about, who've been learning. OK, then that means it's time to go ahead now and start building your pipeline. Any questions? It's time to get to the money and we want to just kind of find out where it is and start making those face to face connections before October. Right. We want to start, you know, and you still, and here's the other thing, you guys never, ever all, even when it comes to me, don't put all your eggs in one basket, right? You still have to keep doing those other things that you have been doing in order to grow your business. Now, I don't know what those things are, but you need to keep doing them. Whatever has been bringing in you, bringing your revenue in, don't ignore that. Don't let this distract you off of that. Just, just find the time to add it, add it to what you are doing, okay? Sheila, yes. Hey, hey. Okay. So on the email that you sent out about declaring the major? Yes. On that uh, list of classes that we need to take and you had how many credits each one was? Right. Do we have one for uh, invoicing for uh, notaries? Because I've been looking for that one. Yeah, no, I didn't put one on there. And Tammy, hold on just a second. It sounds like my dog has found an intruder. Hold on just a second. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, I guess they decided to go away. Um, so quick backstory. Tammy taught that class as a favor to me. And she was like, self-admittedly, I'm not an expert in this, right? Mm -hmm. So what she gave mm -hmm. us in that class was very helpful, but we didn't have enough to do like an exam or, uh, you know, if I could get somebody to teach it, they could really give us the, the, the bells and whistles on there. Mm -hmm. And then we could develop an assessment out of it. Then we will give it some credit, but Maybe what we'll do is we'll put it as an elective and, and, and throw two credits on it and put it in as an elective. I could do that, but it won't necessarily be a requirement for your core, for your major. If I got it under there as major as a major class, I think I do because I do you, I do need you to know how to invoice. That's important. Um, yeah. So maybe I will revisit that, Sheila. Thank you for bringing that up. And because you did bring it up, let me just um, slide over to that real quick. Okay. Invoicing is important. You've got to send with these attorneys. You're going to start working with attorneys. You got to send an invoice and you got to know if you're going to be a net 15 or a net 30. You need to have all that figured out before then. And the invoice needs to have a button. That button needs to allow me to click on it and pay. If you send an invoice that says PO box one, two, three, four, five in, in Podunk, Illinois, you ain't never going to get your money. Pay me now. <laughs> exactly. If you want to be paid now, invoice like you want to be paid now. Okay? Get with the, the Square or the PayPal or the Stripe. Figure out what works best for you. And make sure all of your stuff is together so that when you send that invoice to that attorney, he knows you ain't playing no games. Not only did your one sheet and your, uh, your, one, your, your one sheet and your fee schedule and your little executive thing look amazing but you're following up with this invoice electronic he knows he's dealing she knows she's dealing they know they're dealing with somebody who is about their business so sheila did you have another question was that it let's talk rating system real quick this network will have one it will be two-sided 
let's before we go to rating system, let's finish up on the majors. Let's do a quick reminder to everyone. You have until August the 15th to declare a major and minor at Notary Nerd University. You do not have to do it by August the 15th if you are new and you are just getting started. You will have another chance to declare major in January. But if you are ready to go ahead and you've been taking classes, August the 15th is your push to pee or get off of the pot with one out one of the 20, 30 classes at Notary Nerds. Okay. Um, okay, Sharon, I'll explain. So the major in the minor, and I need to probably resend out another email. At Notary Nerds for the last seven months, we have had a lot of us analysis paralysis. Right? We've been doing class after we hopped from one class to one webinar to one call to one training. We just have been learning everything. Okay. And it be and when you're a when you're a teacher at heart, you really want to see people do get accomplish whatever it is you're tr you're trying to teach them. So with me trying to help you guys grow your business, I know that if you get stuck in learning, that you won't ever get over here and do it. So we changed gears, shifted in June to an achievement-based model. Yes, we still have this awesome library of all these classes that you can keep on taking them and dot, 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 dot. But I'm creating this achievement-based, incentive-based type of a program where when you declare your major on the 15th, you take your exams between the 15th and the 31st. Thank you to all of the assessment developers who are working on exams. Thank you very much. You take your exams between the 15th and the 31st. You got to pass your exams with a 90% or better. So that tells us that you know the information. So now you can go on to this next level, which is the attorney click funnel boot camp that you do not have to pay for that I'm gonna charge other people $500 for because I'm gonna give them a click funnel. You're going to get a click funnel, but you have to earn your way there by declaring your major, passing those classes with a 90% or better, okay? Then passing your final, with the, the, which is your final exam. Yes, yes, Claire. Oh, as we discussed last week for the non-traditional students, we're still declaring a major and minor, even though we're sort of freestyling. That is in correct. terms. Okay. Yes, that is correct. And you don't have to do a minor. Only thing I need from you is a major. I just need to know your okay. primary area of focus. And, and what Claire was referring to is last week, for those of you guys who weren't on there, we talked about the non-traditional students. They're not necessarily, they're not on this whole timeline thing of, you know, declaring a major, they kind of want to go at their own pace. And you can completely do that at Notary Nurse. The only reason that you would want to do this if you were that way is because you don't want to pay for the training that saves you on the training. That's the, that's the only reason. You don't, you don't have to go through this whole template style process that I'm putting out there. That's just primarily for those who are really in need of some structure and direction to be able to um, get their business going. But some of you guys already have that structure and direction and that's just fine. So good question, Claire. Thanks for bringing that. Okay. Back thanks. Up. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Sheila, you got your hand up. Yeah. I think I keep asking this question over and over again, but I'm going to get it right in my mind at the while. Okay. So in all of the core classes, mm -hmm. the test after each one of them, or is it just one test at the, uh, what we take uh, starting August the 15th? Great question. All of those core classes each have their own test. So right now I have uh, several assessment developers and what they are doing is they're watching the most recent relevant video of that class. Mm -hmm. They're listening at the same time they've got a screen, a spreadsheet up. And as soon as they hear something, they're typing a question and they have three types of questions. They have fill in the blank, true and false, and multiple choice. So they have a rubric of how many of each to be able to bring to switch it up. On August the 15th, you guys are going to, that's going to be unlocked and you guys are going to be able to take your test in each of those classes. So you'll go through, you'll go through LLC, Will State, Estates and Trust, take that class. 
Those, each of those classes need to have a 90% or better in the core. In the core classes, if you notice, Sheila, are you looking at the list right now? Yes. Mm -hmm. could, you read, could you read off the core classes for me? Yes, it's uh, Notary uh, 101 is eight credits. How to build a Facebook and Instagram account is two credits. An entrepreneur mindset shift, two credits. Google my business, uh, two credits. Google ads, two credits. The uh, LLC for entrepreneurs is two credits. Branding your business, two credits. Invoicing for notaries, two credits. Schedule C, profit and loss, two credits. How to create a business model, two credits. And how to create a marketing funnel, two credits. Those are the uh, majors. If you take all of those classes and get a 90% or better, there is nothing nobody can tell you about how to get your business set up. Not, 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 not today. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You'll have a, that gives you a foundation. That's why those are your core classes. Once you've excelled on that, then I know that, you know, at least the foundational things in order to start your business. Yes, Claire. I'm sorry. I didn't take my hand down. I'm sorry. Okay. No problem. Sharon says, is this list posted somewhere or? It was in the email. It was in the email that you sent out. Yeah, it was. I will, I will, I will resend that out, Sharon. If you guys are subscribed uh, to Notary Nerds, it went out maybe about a couple of weeks ago, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah. it's due for me to send it out again. So I'll make sure that um, I'll send it out. And it's going, I send it out through the, anybody who's at Notary Nerds, I don't care if you've taken a free class or whatever, you can go in and log in and subscribe to receive emails. And that's where you get these kind of notifications from is when you've done that. Yeah. Yeah. So the test for these classes is not going to be available until August the 15th. Correct. And then after we take each of these core courses, then there's another final exam for all of it, or it's just 90% on those classes? No, it's just 90% on each of those classes that you can take your time and take between oh. August the 15th and August the 31st. See, I was over here stressing because I was like, I got to take all of them and then yeah. I got to take another five. No, there's no, there's no, there's no, actually, I could, I'm still trying to figure out how to keep y'all from being open book. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to figure that out, but don't I don't do know if it. it's going to work. Sharon, don't yes. So the major and minor, so the major, is that like, the main area you want to focus on with your business and the minor, like the three, you know, if it's loan signings or if it's, you know, working with attorneys. Yeah, that is it. Exactly. You just said it. Okay. It. okay. I just want to make sure I understood. Yeah. Thanks. Your major is what your primary focus is. I, I, I explain it this way. Your major and your minor are your first and second departments within your LLC. So your, if your major is pretty much your primary customer, and if you haven't taken the class um, uh, uh, how to develop a business model, Rachel that works with me is a undergrad over at Belmont University, and they taught a class on business model. She took a lot of what she got from there. And, and when I tell you it's so beneficial, we all should have identified a primary customer, a secondary customer, and a tertiary customer. So your major and your minor are in effect your primary and your secondary customers, your primary and your secondary lanes of business to those customers. So general or loan signings would be your um, your major, but your your so your primary your primary customer in that would probably be title companies. And then in your minor, if you did general notary work, uh, minor and general notary work, then your secondary, uh, which would be secondary for your business, your second department. That would be your customer base would be a whole bunch. It could be a different, whole bunch of different people. It could be attorneys. And you could even be more specific, bankruptcy attorneys. Mm -hmm. So what we're wanting to do is to just to identify those two. And then that will help us be focused on attacking those audiences. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what that's designed to do. And it's just, and everybody won't need that, but I'm, I'm, I'm one of those that benefits from some structure, especially if I know where I'm, if I'm heading somewhere, if I know where I'm going, right? And this gives direction on your business because again, time, we don't know, you know, if, if it's going to be a COVID-21 in three right. months, okay? Right. 
So we got to start pretending like that's a part of our existence. And if things slow down from other things that we need to find other ways to um, uh, explore, like, you know, uh, L. Lockett and I were talking about the great, the, the, the freight. Okay. I'm, I'm looking at that with my son. So you got to, you got to look at industries. You're already doing well because you're in the notary space. That was smart. That was very smart because there isn't, you can't keep commerce moving in America without that stamp. It doesn't, you just got to make sure you know where it's moving. You know, you know, trucks aren't going to stop. You know, drivers need DOT stuff and all these different papers, you know, they might have to, they might require notarization. Or if it's not about the stamp, let me say this. Let me just say this. A lot of us have started to build a business around the notary stamp. When the real value is not in the stamp, it's that you are already a trusted, vetted public official that promises to do no harm. And if you hire me 1099, not only if I, in some cases, have to have a bond, but I got E and O and I'm easy to hold accountable. What do you need for me to do? That needs to be the approach versus how can I use my stamp? Because there's so many, there's so many, there's so many limits to how can I use my stamp? However, if you reinvent your thinking and reinvent your business to the point of view, and I have to give Cam, uh, Tammy credit for this because she's the one that came up with that whole do no harm, da, 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 that little pitch. But the point is, it makes sense. Your value is in the fact that the state, the NNA, by Burke and some other folks all know how to get to you. So all you need to do is position yourself in front of these people that need DNA carried from here to there for, for, for however much money because, you know, they got to get it done and they, they don't want to hire anybody. You need to start positioning yourself from that position of public trusted official that will do you no harm. And I've got this, you know, and I've got this bond. And if it just... As a, as a small business, you are gold. You are absolutely gold. Because if you mess their stuff up, they can get to you a lot quicker, file a claim on your ENO in a heartbeat, and you're not going to want to do that stuff anyway. But the point is, that's how you sell yourself to them. You don't have to worry about me. I'm not an employee. I'm a 1099 contractor. I'm not going to do you any harm. I'm a public official. I don't want you messing up my stuff. So I'm not going to mess up my stuff. So that's what I think needs to happen is that whole revisiting of how you consider your notary business and not look at it from the point of view of where can I use my stamp? Instead, think of who needs somebody that's trusted to handle stuff for them and is willing to pay. Okay. Two types of reviews on the Notary Nerds Network. You guys are going to review the attorneys, how they pay. The attorneys are going to review you. Okay. Did they show up on time? <laughs> Did they have any errors? Da, 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 da. Just from the very start, we're making the review process equal on both sides. A part of the attorney's free sign up is they agree to give a review upon contact or business with the notary. And the notary is going to agree to complete a review on the attorneys that they work with. Folks in the network will have access to that review information. The attorneys will be able to see your cumulative reviews and the notaries will be able to see the attorney's cumulative reviews. And you can decide if you get a call from that attorney, whether or not you want to take the call if they pay in 45 days versus 30 on average. Likewise, the attorneys will be able to see your reviews, okay? And they will be able to make a determination whether or not they want to make, to, to call you based on what they have learned or what they know about your, um, whatchamacallit. Yeah, Claire, it is. It is the reinvention of your, you guys, it is, it's so ironic that something with so much possibility only costs $20. How much did you guys, drop in the chat, how much did your notary commission cost? And, you, and drop the state, drop the state, and how much your notary commission cost? Not your, not your actual stamp or your seal or anything like that. Just the commission. 
It was free in Maryland. Wow. And I did 25 in Mississippi. Let me type mine in. Wow, Seth, Florida is busting heads. Oh, it was 11. Okay, New Jersey, 25, 51. See, so for under 60 bucks, we got access to this status as public officials who will do no harm, who can be trusted and who are already vetted, background checked by the NNA. What do you need for me to do? That's why this notary case runner that's why this developing these relationships with these attorneys is getting ready to be so amazing. Because once you once you know who you are and you and you put that out front, the that's going to make the attorneys go, "Oh my gosh, you're right. I don't have to worry about matter of fact, okay, so let me this is how I want my cases run. This is what I want you to do." Now there's not that concern about non-public private information being shared because you are so easy to get accountable uh, being you're so easy to hold accountable that they're they're going to loosen up that trust issue because a lot of times people have trust issues with hiring new people but you put that out there in front and say look i don't do business bad anyway but just so that you know these are my credentials i've been verified i mean i've been background checked i'm with the nna i've got the eno i'm a notary public which means i'm a public official so if i do screw up you call the secretary of state and i got a lot of problems on my hand I don't want that for me or you. What do you need for me to do? You've got to get that pitch down in your voice so that you can, when these attorneys call you, get to the trust faster so you can start doing the heavier stuff for them, right? At first, they're going to throw you a couple of little bones, but as long as you put that pitch out and you wear it, and here's the other thing, and anybody on here can, that works with attorneys can attest to this, you cannot be week. These attorneys are going to call you and they're going to probably some of them want you to do stuff that they don't know they can't do when, when it comes to the notarization. You have to know how to be a good notary, which is why you got to get a 90% on that notary 101 because it's going to include the five steps to a successful notarization from the NNA. It's going to, it's going to throw you off on a couple of questions like I do in the, in the, in the Facebook group. Right? What can we and what can't we do? Does an acknowledgement is an acknowledgement required to be signed in the presence of a notary? Those kind of questions, because you're going to need to know your stuff so well that when you are presented with something, if there's an attorney who really and, and Professor Closen says this in his book Notary Best Practices. For all of you who don't know, um, Notary Best Practices is uh, written by Professor Closen. It's only at the NNA. And he is the country's leading most expert in notarial law. Um, I think it's Michael Closet. Yes, um, I just dropped his name in the name of the book in the chat. So if you go to court five years from now for a signing that was fraudulent, and you get a subpoena, and you sit in the courtroom, the expert witness that they are probably going to call, if they call one, is probably going to be Professor Closet. They pay him to come out and be the expert witness, depending on how big the case is. For those of you dealing with business businesses and new construction signings, he's, you sign you doing notarizations on these one point two million dollar projects. If you get called into court two or three years from now, Professor Closen is likely to be your expert, the expert witness that looks at your journal and says whether or not you were di diligent and prudent. And the way you know what he means by that is you buy his book for $30 and you read it. And if you don't want to read it, go to the YouTube channel for Notary Nerds and listen to our book club discussions. We read his book first. Where I get those true and false questions from a lot of times are based out of his book. The certification program I'm developing based around his book. Because if you know what he says, even though he always says check state law, because that rules, but if you've got pretty much most of what he is telling you down, then you don't have to worry about anybody taking advantage of you when you're out doing signings, especially when you're going you against an attorney. Because it can feel intimidating. No, I need you to do this. And you might think, oh my gosh, I don't think I'm supposed to do that, but I got to do that. But I don't think I'm supposed to do that. That will take that part away. You need to have that confidence. So, and Anastasia said, yes, they will do that. And Professor Closen says, yes, they will do that. 
So I'm not going to send you out to the sharks without giving you a little help. You got time to be able to formulate your fees so you won't be bumbling around with how much do you charge for this. You'll be able to come straight out with it. And also your mindset muscle needs to start getting strong now with you being a good notary and knowing what you can and cannot do in your state, hands down. Because they may not know, but you need to know. Any questions? Yeah, that book is a beast. And I'm telling you, Claire, that book is not an easy read. It, it reads like a legal reference book. It is not like Think and Grow Rich or Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is what we got up next. Yes, agreed, yeah. agreed. <laughs> yes, yes, Anastasia says, and if you know your stuff and you stand firm, that will help. So that's very important, right? So those of you guys who are newer notaries who aren't really sure on the difference between an acknowledgement and a giraffe or... Um, whether or not you can handwrite a notarial certificate or um, whether or not an acknowledgement has to be signed in front of uh, in, in your presence or whether or not it's always required that the signer be present for a notarization. That's one that stumps a lot of people. OK, subscribing witness. Anybody remember that terminology? OK, so you, you need to get familiar with your with your primer. And, and, that's, and that's all you really need. And don't be afraid to have it with you and don't feel like you have to memorize it. Just make sure you have it in your, in your notary bag. So it's all about confidence and being able to know your business better than anybody else's. Uh, you know your, notaries, know your state's laws on notarizations better than anybody else, especially when you start dealing with these attorneys. And know where to find the info quick, right? If you don't have it committed to memory, at least you know you can get it and pull it. Because, you know, just like with the loan signings in the title company, you can't, you know, you know, when COVID first hit and the title companies were saying, just sign it in the, they're going to be inside and you're going to be outside and y'all just, you know, you sign it that way. And you didn't have a visual on your signer. Okay. Folks were doing some creative stuff or being asked to do some creative stuff. All of it, not all of it was legal. Not all of it was legal. So just because the person who gave you the signing or is hiring you for the signing wants you to do things a certain way, you're going to have to be a good enough notary to know that, no, I need a, I need a sight line to my signer. Example given in Professor Closen's book, gentleman shows up to do a signing. The wife says the husband's in the bed sick. She'll run the papers back. The notary waits in the living room. The wife runs the papers back to get the paper signed. Then she, he brings, she brings the papers back to the notary. The notary notarizes the signature. A couple of weeks later, the children found out when they were challenging or months later when they were challenging the um, will that because they were having, the wife was having the husband sign over a lot of assets. He was dying. So after he died, the children challenged the will and come to find out the wife had her boyfriend in the closet with her dying husband in the bed and the boyfriend signed the paper. And the notary was the one that got in trouble because the notary was supposed to have everybody in eyesight that signing. You can't witness a signature if you didn't see a sign unless you're just acknowledging the signature, right? An acknowledgement comes to you. You ask the person, is that your signature? Fine, that's all you need on an, on an acknowledgement. But with this person, she was up to no good. She didn't even, he didn't even see, he, not only did he not see the signing, but it wasn't even the right person. How many times does that happen? I'll be right back. Just, just let me go get it signed and I'll bring it back so you can notarize it. None of that. Any questions? All right, so what's going on in y'all's world? Let's see what's happening with you guys. Everybody's quiet tonight. Would y'all eat too much for dinner tonight? I'm tired of hearing myself talk. What is going on, people? This is Violet. I don't have too much going on on my. How's it going, Violet? 
is going pretty good. I'm still procrastinating on this Facebook page. Oh, well, now you got a reason to go ahead and get it. Yeah. Together. Right, right. So, yeah, that's about all on my end. And uh, Brittany gave us some homework to do our uh, social media template things and some other stuff that Brittany gave us in, in her class. So I'm working on my homework so I can have that done by next Wednesday. Because I know you're going to go on, on vacation, aren't you, Brittany? Yep, we leave at four o'clock tomorrow morning. There you go. So I got a little time. She's going to be on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how nice. Where y'all going? The Keys. We're going to head down to the Keys for a week. What's going on with this red tide on TikTok? I've been seeing all these fish in Tampa and the Bay. Is it everywhere around the Florida coast? No, it's just in Central Florida near the Tampa Bay area. So oh, okay. it, it can stay there because we're not going there. So it can Got stay you. here. Got you. Y'all have fun. All right, Violet, thank you for checking in. Who else we got? Right. Um, I thought Brittany's class was super helpful. Mm -hmm. And I'm also working on all my social media pages to make sure that everything is actually the same, especially my profiles on Snap Docs, Notary Cafe. Mm -hmm. So I, I found her class to be very, very useful. Mm -hmm. An amazing class. Absolutely. It is an amazing class. I thought about it while I was building out my site for the Notary Nurse Network. Well, all I heard was stay on brand. And when, it, when I tell you, when I heard her voice say, stay on brand, it was when the button that said, learn more was blue and white. And this was green and this was purple. And I was like, no, that is not my brand. Black, white, red, make it work. And when I tell you guys, when I paid attention and did, because I normally would have left the button blue, you know, but it was that class that said, no, there is, there's something about it. When I stopped and I looked at it, I was like, I get it. It's consistent. It's consistent every place you go. You see that color triage, right? So that's so good. Yeah, that I totally 100% agree. That class is amazing. You guys need to watch it if you haven't. Anybody else? Hi, Hi Monica. Molly. Hi. Hey, Pamela. I just finished Lynn Richardson class. I have a headache. Oh, <laughs> the, the in your corporate book. Oh my God, ladies, we got to get that together. Yes. Oh, I'm not sleeping tonight. So what it was class that? Huh? What class was that? Yeah, what class was that? That was um, what's in your corporate book. You know, when you do your LLC, you have to have a corporate book. And yeah. you have to have all these things in that corporate book. Oh right. my God. I don't have anything in my corporate book. My book didn't get here <laughs> yet, but oh. Right. <laughs> I'm telling you. I got you. my corporate book today. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's a good class and I think we all should get it. Whatever I learn, I'll let you guys know. As I learn it, I'll throw it out there and everybody can get it, honey. But it's and a lot. support y'all. It's Dr. Lynn. It's Dr. Lynn. What's her last name? Richard. Richard. I think Richard. Doc Y'all go Richardson. support Dr. Lynn Richardson. When I saw that TikTok, I was like, yeah, she's the truth. Yeah, she a lot of classes the truth. too. Yeah, yeah. have a lot of classes. Patrice, you, you were chiming in. What's going on in your world? Um, hi, Monica. I'm new. I'm actually, um, I don't know how I found you, um, but I watched your class yesterday on the um, create and how to create your fees. Yes. I'm a new notary, so I'm a licensed insurance agent. I work from home, but I'm a new notary as well. And I've done some loan signings. Um, I actually learn by doing, not necessarily by reading. And I've done good so far. I mean, it's slow, and I'm okay with that because I am new, so I'm not trying to go full force, plus I work full time. But I did not know how to set fees for general notary work. And I actually did a signing um, at a doctor's office. Somebody followed me on Google because I am on Google and I did a Yelp and I have a website, which because I'm an insurance agent and I do independent work outside my job, I need that, um, that website. Right. But right. I could be honest with you, before watching your class, I'm going to tell you, I didn't make any money. I think I made actually $2, which was off the mileage. I literally just charged them how much it costs for the papers, you know, to get it notarized and um, 
mileage. That was it. But after watching your class last night, yeah, and I yeah. started doing the numbers, like, oh my goodness, I didn't know I was supposed to do that. I wouldn't know I was supposed to do this. And somebody called me today while I was at work, sent me a text. I called you and I'm just wanting to know if you're going to come to my house to sign my power of attorney papers. And I'm like, because I didn't get the message. I didn't check my message. I'm like, okay, yes, I'm in a meeting. I'll call you back on my break. I called him. I did exactly what you did. Sent him the invoice, which came out to be $25 and 37 cents. Um, I didn't charge him for paper because he has his own paper, but I charged him my hourly rate based off of what you said. I don't have a schedule C from last year, but because based off of my income, which I didn't make a lot of money last year, my standard rate right now is $18 an hour. I need 30 minutes of how much is going, how long it's going to take. So I charged them the $9, did the, um, I did the time, the $9 and my standard rate, and it came out to be like $25. So as soon as I, and I did them an invoice off of PayPal, and then I found another one that was very detailed and I sent them that he has paid that invoice and I don't meet him to Saturday morning. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes. Boom. Good yes. job. And I, yes. I, I sent you a friend request. I inboxed you, but I realized on your page you said you don't check messages. She so that's don't why check I gave messages. you a shout out in the group today because your formula worked. And I'm telling you, I don't have a mentor. I am really winging a lot of things, okay? But I'm learning because I'm in all these different notary groups, but your group has really Yo. like broke it down. It, yeah. To break it down, it's going to take me a while to get to those six figures, but everything that you talk about, I can use for my insurance business. Nice. That I'm doing everything mobile. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to leave my job because I hate it. I just like helping people, but I don't like the job. Right. Uh, I just want to say thank you. And I am signing up for Notary University. Yay! Hey, tomorrow. So Yay! <laughs> I'll be signing up for it. And um, I actually put something else in the book because when I first started paying attention to the group, you was throwing out all these questions. And I'm like, wait a minute. So remember, <laughs> I don't know if you paid attention, but I was like, thank you for these questions because this is helping me. There's things I don't know. Like when I say I'm winging it, I'm winging it, but thankfully I've been error free. Nice. Get the papers and okay, this, 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 and I read them. I, I've been error free and I haven't had to do any go backs and people have called me back and I do a lot of loan modifications, which are sweet, easy. They don't pay a lot between 40 and $60, but I'll take those $40 for 10 minutes Great of my job, time. Patricia. Right. right. Yeah, so right. I will be joined. I get paid tomorrow as soon as my check hits my yes. I'm it. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Great so job, Patrice. Say thank you Great and I job. appreciate it. And I think I'm going to learn a lot um, from your courses. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Patrice. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was amazing. I'm so happy for you. That was what that's what I that's what I want more of like that right I want to see y'all win you know what I'm saying like that right there was a win because she made now she knows what her profit margin she knows what her profit needs to be on a signing that basic knowledge a lot of notaries don't even know they're just charging twenty dollars or twenty five dollars to go 30 miles one way and 30 miles back you can't do that and make money that's not sustainable so it's okay to do a general notary work sign, but you need to be compensated for the ink, the drum, the paper, the wear and tear on your car, the knowledge and skills that you bring into the table. All of those things can be quantified on that little spreadsheet. So that's where you can go. If, if you're in the notary nerds already, it's pricing, it's, it's already in the, the pricing class. But if you are not a member of notary nerds yet and you can't join yet, just go to pricing for notaries dot com and you can at least take that class for free at least know your numbers know what you need to charge especially if you're going to start trying to go direct and you get somebody on the phone and they're like well what's your fee you don't have a fee sheet you don't have any of that figured out because you don't know don't just make up any numbers i am so oh that was awesome thank you so much patrice thank you very much and thank you and i hope when i put that review and um notary nerds in the facebook group 
I don't know if you put reviews on your website, but you can use me because. Oh, thank you. I will. You know, I, will. I couldn't believe that. Then, then when he sent the um, payment and then forwarded it to me, he forwarded just confirmation before PayPal could. And I you was like, like, oh my goodness, I'm actually a business. And then that's what you said to think like I've been an employee for so long. So a lot of stuff I do not keep track of. I was not doing. But when you broke it down and I actually looked up those drums, they was given the on sale price. No, listen, that TN850, the regular price is $160. And that's the price I use. Um, and did it how to paper and all of that. So yes. Right. So, that right there, Monica. Exactly. They ain't cheap, folks. They no, are they ain't cheap. cheap. Not okay. at all. And you got to have them. So you got to break it, fractionalize it down. Everything can be broken down into numbers. And then you just add it up and then you see, but you know what got them, Patrice? What was the total? $25 and what? 32 cents? It was $25 and I think 47 cents. I got to go to my email and pull it up. But I also based it, I remember you were saying that, you know, a regular RON is about $25. Right. Find your profit margin. And you want to be in the marketplace, you know, you don't want to go too high, but you want to make sure that you compensate it for your time and you figure it out based off of your rate. I was really into that um, program last night. I don't know if you recorded it last night, but I was into it and I'm just like, oh my goodness, no, because I don't see any mentors that I could ask to mentor me. I would love for somebody to mentor me and because I'm, I'm, I'm a sponge. And I'm, I'm a perfectionist, so I like to know what I'm doing. The hardest part is that I can't sit down and read stuff. Mm. I have to do it because mm. my mind go all over the place. Yeah. That's where I'm struggling. So I also saw your video when you did a review of a book. I can't remember what it was, but I'm going to try, Monica. <laughs> I love it. You guys, <laughs> the, book, the, the one book that I need for everybody to read is Who Moved My Cheese? Okay, it's a quick read. Okay, we're getting back on Number Nerds Book Club next week, but I need you to read Who Moved My Cheese. It's going to help with the mindset shift before we get into to Think and Grow Rich. But Patrice, let me just say this. You may not need a mentor as much as you think you do. I this From hearing you and listening to you, you already got a lot of it figured out. Now it's time for you just to structure and decide where you want to take things. Now. Now, I say this, I'm a lifelong learner, and I think all of us should be lifelong learners. So, so from that point of view, I don't think we should stop learning, but I say give yourself credit where credit is due. And right now, I, you just don't strike me as somebody who just, you know, really needs to necessarily spend a lot of energy trying to find this mentor in the notary space. The notary space, I think we want to make it way more complicated than what it really is. It's not, which is why we only had to spend $20 to go get the stamp, right? It's not. The business side of it can get a little hairy, okay? But once you get acknowledgement, giraffe right down, and once you've gotten your state primer pretty much understood, really can't nobody really mess with you on that. That's, you, you, you're about six months. If you've been doing it at six months, you haven't had any errors. I mean, I don't know how long you've been doing it, but you haven't had any errors or whatever. It's, it's because of your diligence. And that's what Professor Closen talks about. A diligent and prudent notary usually doesn't have anything to worry about because this is what a diligent and prudent notary does. That's me. Exactly. <laughs> okay. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And, and Professor Closen says a fast notarization is a bad notarization. He says if they come running from a fire, they need this notarized right now. He says he would slow extra down. All you need to do to make sure you don't make a mistake is to take your time. Okay? So I think you've got it down. So, I, I mean, I'm not, so if you run into a mentor, great, but I'm just saying, give yourself some credit because it sounds like you've been doing a really good job. Um, while I've got these packets in my hand, Here's the purchase. Here's the refi. For those of you that are going to the mock loan signing, they are uploaded into Notary Nerd University. Just a real, real quick recap of what's going to happen on Saturday morning. Nine o'clock, you're going to get this packet. Maxine Rucker, the owner of Logos Title Closing Services, 
going to go through every single page of this packet with you. She's going to tell you first what the title company does so you have an understanding of that. Then she's going to go through every single page and say what you can and cannot say. That's going to be from 9 until 1030. At 1030, you and your partner, you're going to be sitting at, at a table with another person, are going to do a, a pretend signing with the same packet, with your notes. 1130, that's going to happen until 1130. At 1130, we're going to break for lunch. I'm going to feed you box lunch. 12 o'clock, we're going to do the same thing with the refi packet. From 12 to 130, you're going to walk through this packet. She's going to talk. You're going to listen. You're going to take notes. At 11, I'm sorry, at uh, 1230 to 12 to 130. So at 130, you're going to switch. And if you were the notary on the first, on the first practice, you're going to be the signer on the second practice. 2.30, that's going to be over with. We're going to take a break. Aretha is going to come and do Ron at 3 o'clock. From 3 to 5, you're going to watch Aretha and Desiree do an actual Ron signing. You don't need your laptops. You will see their laptops in action from 3 to 5. Right after that, you're going to do a signing on documents that you have never seen before. Okay? It's going to be a short packet, but it's just to get you over the nerves of, oh, my gosh, I didn't have docs in time. What am I going to do? Right? We've thrown some papers together so you can get some practice with that surprise signing. Once you leave this, you will have had the opportunity to do three signings, at least two signings, and to be able to go confidently now and market yourself directly with the title companies and start drumming up some business that way. Okay? So that's what, the, that's, what that's gonna look like. Friday night, appetizers, cash bar, karaoke. I just looked at the karaoke machine yesterday. I got to figure out how to hook it up. We're going to have a stage and I paid for an extra mic so we can get some duets going on. Okay. Get ready for um, March. Katy, Texas is next. That's where we're headed next. Um, we have learned our lesson. Never again will I plan something in less than 12 weeks. It's not a good idea. <laughs> so um, anybody else, what y'all got going on? Anything exciting? I had a question, Mom. Yes. Did you figure out if we would be able to pay for our subscription like three or six months in advance, or do we just need to continue to do it on a monthly basis? Continue to do it on a monthly basis. Yes, I, I have not figured that out yet, but I remember I did commit to doing that for you by August the 1st, coming up with that okay. situation. And what okay. I'm going to do, yeah, I'm still, it's still on my priority list. Matter of fact, it's on my to-do list. I got it written down okay. on my to-do list, wherever it is, but I hadn't forgotten. And would you prefer that they be in quarterly, like chunks, like three months at a time, uh, and then annually? Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what I prefer. I don't like what I call knick knack every month. So I got like to pay things like three to six months in advance if I can. Got you. That makes sense. I'll make it happen, and I'll make sure it goes out in an email. But it won't be till August the first. I got too much. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Anybody okay. else? Y'all are quiet tonight. I hope everybody's had a great week. Any wins this week? Sebastian! Monica. Yes. This is Dorothy Johnson. I hey. saw we had another Dorothy. Yes! Okay, yeah, I thought uh, you were Dorothy Renee Akins, but this is Dorothy Johnson. Let me go switch screens. Let me find you. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I'm new. It's my first meeting. Oh, welcome! Yeah, and I've just been sitting listening. And you learn a lot just listening. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I had a question that come up and I thought, okay, I'll wait and see if she mentioned it. But uh, I picked in, I think it was 8.03 and you was already talking. And I assume you was talking about having a Ron platform of your own. Oh, no. Thank you very much, Dorothy, for bringing this up. Ron, Amy, are you there? Where's Amy? I, there she is. Amy has a Ron platform of her own and I couldn't wait to hear about it because she launched it on July the 1st. So Miss Dorothy, that's what I was talking about. Is that what you heard? Is that what- the, Yeah, yeah, the, what's the name of her platform? Amy, take it away. It's called Cyberize It. What? Um, I'll, put, I'll, I'll type, type it, it in, in the, the chat. chat. Type it in the chat, please. Yep. There we go. But you know, on the Facebook page, Monica, you was uh, 
giving a shout out to those who have been accepted from the WFG, WFG uh, title. That weren't you? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. are you talking about the underwriters? The the yeah yeah. 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 It was Monica who was giving I, a shout out for certain uh, platforms that they accepted. That went. I, I saw Christine um, do okay. that. Um, okay. Christine. Oh, I can't think of her last name. It starts with a P. She's yeah. out of Florida. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, there I, was I certain ones that it was accepted. Not about that's what she was talking about. But no, this is you right here, uh, Miss Brittany. Uh, no, uh, no, it's a no read cipher. See why I'm right here. Cyberize it. Ah, okay. I'll look that up then. Uh, I'm a Ron uh, certified Tennessee, of course. Yay. I'm in Memphis. And uh, so I don't, I do what, you know, uh, several type company, but I want to do one of my own, you know, just solo by myself. What what platform are you currently using, Ms. Dorothy? Nexus. Nexus? Nexus, Nexus yes. I haven't even heard. Is that a new one? No, no. Any X. I type it. In, okay. In uh, well, who are you with? I don't have a signing platform because I'm not doing Ron. I went, I started uh, the process, but I never did um, follow through with it. But I was hoping, I was hoping, because I know that they all, I don't know how Nexus does, do they allow you to bring your own people? Once again, I'm signed up with a third party, another company like ServiceLink oh, and okay. uh, Amrock. But I want to do it on my own too. So I want to have a separate one. So like this lady was talking about her, Cyber, Cyber. Cyberize it. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I can get on her platform just for my own personal use. I think that would be a good idea. Amy, will you tell everybody how things are going? Tell them about your platform and tell them how, how things are going. It's been crazy. So um, we are at um, about 100 notaries on the platform already. A um, couple bumps going through. Uh, we had to get our profiles recreated a few times. It kind of got frustrating for people, but everything has been worked out. Um, technology wise, everything's going great. I've got some uh, verbiage to update on the site just because we put that off to get the technology going completely. And uh, well, and, and next next week I should be releasing the press release because I, I and this is a little teaser. Um, the vendors that I've partnered with are actually partners and not vendors. So Zoom and Adobe will be partnering with me on this endeavor. And wow. yeah, I'm the only notorial um, platform that has achieved that. So we hope that, well, I hope that the news media will pick up on this press release. Zoom signed off, Adobe signed off but their press guy is going to help me release it. So that should be going out next week. Congratulations, Miss um, Amy. Thank you. That's yes. major. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't been able to say much because again, I had to get other people to pass on it first. So uh, in addition, I had my interview with the state of Missouri. I've got an interview with Indiana and, and, and Pennsylvania lined up. And I've got... So a couple of interviews with some signing services and and uh, and some underwriters in route. Uh, also, I started the MISMO certification, so it's it's moving, it's moving fast, and you know, definitely check it out if you're interested. Uh, oh, wow, wow, Zara, Good I know job, you Amy, great job, excellent job, Zara. I know you cannot wait to chime in. Go ahead, friend. Okay. Congratulations, Miss Amy girl. <laughs> and Miss Monica, what's up with the collab and with the attorneys? What's up? That's exactly where I'm at with it. I just want to make it like, because at the beginning, I don't want to get involved with the notaries and their money. I want them to be able to get, you know, whatever they're going to get. But as it goes on, I want it to turn into like a signing service model where maybe I say, this is the platform that we use. You know what I'm okay. saying? But yes, right now, I don't have everybody's 
I want everybody to go and check out Amy's platform. Just, just on the strength of the fact that Amy is one of us. She's right here with us. She's trying to help us. And, exactly. it, and it doesn't make any sense not to check her Try platform. It out. Exactly. If you got your stuff together, if you can do it in her state and she's set up in your state, try it out. It's going to be a win-win for those of you who are going in the platform or to her platform and also going into the Notary Nerves Network. Because talk to us, Amy, about the difference between your platform's fees and most of the others' platform's fees. Okay, so I set mine up. You, you do pay a monthly, uh, I want to call it subscription, um, and, but you don't pay per transaction. That so you could do one, well, I, technically, if you do two transactions, you turn out in the green, you're $10 in advance, you've made your money back, um, two one stamp transactions. It is a 1099 model, so you do get paid out by me, so clients, I charge the client, I pay you the money, you've got control of your money, so you can deposit it daily or weekly, it's up to you. Um, in addition to that, I created it so that you get your own custom referral link. So if you bring a client to the table, they stay tied to you. So if they initiate a transaction, it goes to you. But in addition to that, if a client comes to the platform without a notary referral, that client can search out and connect to a notary. Um, so that they can get service and then they stay with you as well. They become your client and you get paid the same, whether they come from me or you, it doesn't matter. Um, if you do a hundred transactions in a calendar month, I give you your subscription feedback because if you're working it hard, you shouldn't pay for it. So nice. Um, you know, it's still a work in progress. I'm not going to say it's perfect. It, you know, I, I won't. It, it is what it is at the moment. It's going to grow. It's going to get bigger. There's features that we weren't able to build out. And I know it's not perfect, but it is on the list to do. And we are going to get them done. But, uh, but yeah, so, and, and Melinda's sharing her, li her link in the, the chat. So you can actually see what it looks like. You can forward a URL, you could create a QR code, you could put a button on your website and connect to it um, and things of that nature. But yeah, so Miss Amy, kind of can I ask a hard, Miss Amy, can I ask a hard question then? What is the feedback that you're getting that's negative? Like what are the top two, three things that you're hearing that's negative? And then of course, what are the three positives, if you don't mind? Okay, so um one, when a client initiates the notarization, there's a couple of fields that are confusing to them. So I'm going to have some of those fields removed or reworked next week. But my developers are on holiday. They're Muslims. So they're off until Monday. And I'm not going to pester them with that. Um, two, some spams, some emails are going to spam. So clients aren't getting the triggers to start their transaction. And I'm working on getting that corrected. And I think that's because I moved our, our internet, our, our email servers from overseas to the US last week. And I think that Google is catching those. So I need to rework some phrasing so that clients can see to always check that area so that there's no confusion there. Um, as far as my issues with it right now, a client can schedule a notarization, but we can't reschedule or, or cancel it. And I, I don't like that. So that is an area that I want to build out right away. Um, I also want to build out a professional services division so that I can have net 30 with the um, title agencies because that's what they prefer to do. Right. Um, so those are, those are kind of the highlights of that. Now, as far as um, feedback from notaries, even my clients have said they, they love the integration, but they needed the walkthrough verbally to get through it because the, the, uh, a couple of buttons seem to be a little confusing for them. Uh, notaries think it's much more simpler once they get around it. So I've been doing one-on-one -on -one demos to get people more acquainted with it because it is a completely different way of looking at things. <laughs> Thank you, Melinda. And uh, 
you know, once you see it, it makes so, so much more sense than other platforms and the technology is much easier for clients to use once they know to look for the emails. So those have been a little bit of the struggles, but I think overall it's, it's turned out pretty well. It's positive. Clients are using it. Clients are engaging without being brought in by, by notaries. So that's always a true test because they don't know who to call and, you know, Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Ms. Monica, yeah. Mike, I have a question for you. So I'm coming to Tennessee this weekend to see everyone. So I'm excited for sure. Yes. And I got a present for you, girl. No, no. <laughs> but um, I want to know why when I try to book the room, why does it say 160? Is that a, I don't understand. It went into like 99. No. Um, okay. So the early, the room rate cut off, I think it was June the 23rd because they had to have a cutoff date for the room rate. However, I can email you now, um, Chasen, he is the, um, I can't remember event manager or something like that. Somebody else okay. did the same okay. thing and he was able to get her the 109 room rate. So let me just forward you the email from him and then because the issue was as long as there's rooms available, they'll still allow for you to get the room right. That's what the thing is. So perfect. Um, perfect. And then also for this, uh, so you keep, I see, keep seeing you popping on note, no, what is it, YouTube, because I'm subscribed to the channel now. So I wanted to know with the attorneys, am I an active note? Like I can log into Notary Nerds, I'm able to navigate. I can't tell if I'm active or not. And, or do I go to my business? How do I know if I'm active? If you're paying I'm, 37, if you're paying $37 per month, then you're active. Yeah, but I, so I need to look at my business account. I, I don't know. I don't look at that thing so often, y'all. Forgive so, me. So you, so you might have money coming out of your account and you don't even know what in the world is going on. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, because I, I, I need to get on that. I'm the same. Um, and Melinda's going to hopefully be helping me out. She's getting ready to send me a proposal for to clean my books up. But um, I'm the same. But yeah, I'll check. Um, let me just send this email to you before I forget about the room. Okay. Yeah, I think you and Mark Wills are charging me every month. I don't check that because it's just a, it's in the budget to pay that. So I just think that it's I I'm not looking. Well, then that means that you did get an email inviting you to set up your profile over on the attorney platform. And so I'm in mean, the Notary Nerds Network. And so now once you do that, there's a link for you to give me the three cities that you want me to pull attorneys from. Because basically yes. everything that I taught in the attorney marketing class, I'm going to do that for you if you're in this class, if you're on this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said that in your video. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate y'all. I'm, I'm yeah. back on mute. I'm about to listen to everybody else though. But thank y'all. I'll see you okay. this weekend. Bye. Okay, wait. Okay. Let me, now I got to try to find the email room rate. Let's see here. There it is. Miss Amy, you and Miss Amy, truly though, you guys, I know y'all know already, if y'all probably don't know, but you are, you all are truly disrupting the notary market and going next level. And we already know that you all are like multi-million billionaires in the making because I don't know what y'all doing. Y'all just came out of nowhere. <laughs> I met Miss Amy through you. <laughs> you know what's funny, Monica? I didn't start doing raw until Jan January 1st this year either. <gasps> Wow. Shut up. Wow. My first my first run was New Year's. It was my best friend. And I did her uh custody uh release of, of child support papers for her ex-husband. And um I and and I, I went into contract to make my own platform on March 6th and rolled it out on July 1st. So wow. that's like unheard of in tech world. That game changer, game changer. And Amy, this is where I see, you know, I, I, I know there's a synergy there and this is where I see it happening. If we could find a way that these solo operating attorneys can, and the, and the notaries can use this platform to get, get their Ron going, because a solo attorney needs something to be able to grow their business. And Ron would immensely add a lot to a lot of these solo operating attorneys to be able to go out out of state, out of country, do business across all these lines without having to worry about not being able to get a notary or having to deal with that aspect of the case, so to speak. So it's my hope that once we get all of our things figured out, that your platform will be that mayonnaise on the BLT. Okay. Yeah. The primary source. Yeah. That we all go to. Right. Right. That, that you can't have a BLT without the mayo. Okay. So that's why I think that it's perfect how everything is happening because you know, 
as, as I already know, when you start something new, you're going to have mistakes. How many mistakes? We, we're still making mistakes. So you guys, with her building this platform, there's going to be, be patient, just like you've been patient with me when we have our little technical issues. Anytime you're and just and be patient with yourself, because anytime you're starting a business, you're going to have issues. You're going to have little things that are going to come up. Just make sure you keep your customer service like it's supposed to be. But um. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. Um, let me see here. Okay. And, and Monica, we'll have to set up a time to chit chat. Yeah. Yeah, we do. And as long as it's after August the 1st, because I can't do nothing else in July. Um, the July has... has, has... <laughs> That's fine. Hey, real quick, you... you the, I, I didn't... I came in late, so I didn't hear. Where, where are you going? When are you going? And so this... What, what's this event? This event is Friday. This is our very first mock loan signing training. Friday evening, we're doing just, uh, networking and Saturday morning. I've got a title company owner that's going to be walking through packets and we're going to do Ron in the afternoon. Next, the next one, we're going to start planning immediately after this one, but it's going to be in March in Katy, Texas. Katy, Texas one out of, Texas one out over Florida, YouTube algorithms, Facebook algorithms. There's way more Texans in the Notary Nerds Facebook group by a, by a landslide, not by a landslide. Florida's like right up under there. But based on that, we're going to head over to Texas and do our next one. But it's going to be March of 2022. Okay. Well, that makes sense because there's over 500,000 notaries in Texas. Oh, that? I got the list. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that does make sense. Hey, Lockett, you've got your hand up. Yes. Hello. Hello. Uh, my question is for Amy. Being in Georgia, we're not a Ron state, but I would like to do Ron just in case I get um, uh, an attorney that needs that. So how do we in non-Ron state be able to participate? So funny you should mention that. I'm working with a lady named Camille and one of the underwriters that I'm working with getting approved with is trying to help getting me get in contact with an attorney who will partner in and be the advisor. Because according to Georgia law, a notary can do Ron if you have an attorney advisor who is practicing law in Georgia. So as soon as I get a Georgia attorney on the docket, to contract with me, I can open it up to Georgia. What? Do you know that it's going to be a game changer? Change, yes. that's, that's, that's big, that's and big. It, it may change our law here. It might, but yeah, right now, but it's, it's finding an attorney who will do it is the thing. So I'm trying to find, if any of you have a lead, I'm trying to find basically a real estate attorney fresh okay. out of law school who's trying to get their name out there because this would be huge for them. And it's new and it's different. So we need someone that's got that mindset of they aren't set in their ways because this, again, is unheard of. No other platform has looked into doing this. But people so, are changing um, because of this COVID. People are trying to rethink business. Yeah, so, they, so may be, hopefully, they may be more flexible now. I, I'm hoping so. Um, you know, it, I, it's one of those things where we've got to get it going and get something in place. And in the chat, New York, I don't think has approved Ron at all yet. So I can't even do that yet, but I'm watching. Um, I'm waiting. New Jersey should be rolling out a, roll, a verdict here any day. We're just waiting on the governor. So where are you with Michigan? I have turned my app in. I am waiting to hear back from them. Nice. How have you done all of this? Are, don't you work full time too? Don't yes, you? that's what Not I'm about to ask. I turned in my notice. Oh my gosh, Monica, Woo! so seriously, they called me lazy in a meeting and I went, excuse me? Uh-uh, I am nothing but, no, no, no. I might not. Not be whole, whole heart in this, but I am not lazy. So I turned my notice in and walked. <laughs> you, oh, Amy. Did you know, I had planned. I had planned to turn it in. Uh, they just made it a little bit easier for me. Wow. So, 
Good for you. Of course, you're not. How do they not know that you created a whole platform in six months? They didn't exactly. know it then. They knew oh, they it know now. It now. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> This is amazing, guys. This, I guess we were all supposed to, to meet at this time because for all of us, we're fairly, just drop in the chat. How, how many years have you been in the notary business? Okay. How many years have you, or months, have you been in the notary business? I'll go first. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. I'm pushing on 11, 20, 10 months. So far, I'm winning. Who? One what? I, I, I've got 20 years as a notary. 20 years? Holy uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, I started in 2001 when I worked for the local sheriff's office. I notarized warrants for the deputies to issue out. And I've retained it um, all of these years. I never did a business out of it. I just did it for work. But I've held my commission for 20 years. Wow. Wow. But how long you have you been a notary for yourself? I'm though, just three eight. months in. Oh, Dorothy got me. Oh. <laughs> Four years? Wow. Three years, three months. This is, officially, this is my seventh month in the business. I've been a notary for 12 years. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So you guys, I don't know. It's just interesting how we kind of, you know, we're all in the same space now. And it's not just any space, like Zara is always pointing out to us, it is like a disruptive space because when you look out in the sea of the notary industry, you don't see the stuff that we're talking about. It's not, it doesn't exist. So we're in the process of creating these new things that don't exist and that's where the disruption comes in. And anytime you're a part of like a movement that does that and you're an early, what they call an early adopter, Typically, you reap the benefits of being that early adopter. It's like the people who went out west first and found gold, right? So now's the time to position yourselves and don't take lightly the work that you can be doing now, which is getting your social media together, getting your branding together, getting your fee sheets together, knowing your pricing. While all of these things are happening around you, go and especially if you go now that you have um, uh, Amy's website, you go there, you see what it's going to cost you to be on her platform. You need to work your Ron pricing sheet together based on that. So your profit makes sense. Reverse engineer your numbers. Yes, ma'am, Miss Dorothy Renee. Hey, um, Amy, I do have a cousin who has her own law practice in Georgia. Mm. And I wanted to give you her information um, so you could reach out to her to see if she would be interested in setting up that Ron for your business. Uh, you know what? I am going to give you my email in the chat. Okay. Can you email it to me so you don't send it out all yeah. over for everybody yeah, here? I can. Yeah, I can. I can. You got Thank it. You. That, that's huge. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. This is this is this is gonna be everything. I love the connections that we make on here. We are making some really yes, we are. connections. And just I love it, love it, love it. A year from now, we're going to look back at this time and be like, okay, remember when we didn't know and this is this? And, and then, you know, a year from now, everybody on this call has got staff people, right? That's what I Come on, you better speak it. Okay. And we're all, instead of talking about this and that, we're talking about best practices, best hiring practices, best firing practices. We're talking, we're, we're going to elevate each other. The conversation is going to elevate the more we, uh, we sharpen one another. So we're not going to always be talking about what we're talking about now. We're not supposed to, we're supposed to grow. And that's why I want you guys to make sure you read Who Moved My Cheese? Because if you're resistant to change, you might hold yourself back a little bit from some of these exciting things that are happening because you won't be so quick to pull the trigger on things. You won't be so quick to go ahead and take action because you may be hemming and hawing like in Who Moved My Cheese, him and haw. They just kind of hung out until, until they could figure out, you know, until it was time for, I think him, haw actually ended up going to find some cheese when the cheese went dry. But my point is you can't hem and haw around when you're in the middle of a disruptive type of industry that ain't gonna stop, okay? So work on the, the basics. Get your, get your Facebook, social media, all that right. If you need to take you a new picture, take you a new picture, okay? Because some of y'all got blurry pictures, okay? We don't need blurry pictures. We need to, to get you 
I don't know how to do it, but get you a good picture going. Get your email. You the 4K. You need the 4K. <laughs> 4K 60, baby. There's a 4K 60. That's the highest resolution on your, um, what you call it? Movie quality. Monica. Yes. Uh, is this the best way to reach you? Of Monica Orders at CompleteSigningLLC.com? Yes, that's the best way to reach me. And then during the day, you can also call me at the office. Hold on, let me give you the number. And what happens at the office is it's on a round robin from nine to five. So what happens is Roxana will get the call. And if she's busy, I will get the call. And if I'm busy, Elijah or Rachel will get the call. So um, 629-666-6404 is the office number. So is it, these calls, Zoom calls, are they going to be replayed back on the site? Are they recorded to be replayed? Yes. We will. We will upload the Zooms to the um, Facebook, uh, the YouTube channel. And what about the class this weekend? Uh, will it be available too? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's talk about the class this weekend. What was this weekend? This weekend, we were supposed to have Sebastian's class, which we didn't. He signed, he came in, but there wasn't anybody there. There was some mix up with the links. Um, we, I'm, you know, it was on us. We, we, we made a mistake. So we're going to have to get that rescheduled. And then the class before last weekend, Dan taught, or this weekend, Dan taught Google ads, but he forgot to re hit record. So what he's going to do is he's going to provide us with a Google ads video training that he's done on his platform. And he's going to allow me to upload that to Notary Nerds University. Um, I was talking about the mock. Oh, the mock signing. This is not going to be recorded only because it's going to be recorded, but it's going to be my 15 year old, my 13 year old, me and all these different people on our phone. After we're done, we're going to put all the videos together and I'm going to try to put together a edited, nice replay. If I don't like it, it y'all won't know about it. Okay. If it comes out that it's okay that you can actually learn from it, we're going to make that available so that the instructors can continue to earn a little bit off of it as well. Any more questions? Iron definitely carbons yes. iron, Melinda, for sure. I have, a, I have a question, Monica. This is Patrice. Hey, Patrice, go ahead. So during the um, notary, um, during the notary nurse university, do you teach like social media content for nurse um, notaries? Because that is one thing. Like I have Facebook pages and all that good stuff. I just don't know what to post. Like, what do you post for a notary? I barely know what to post for an insurance person, but I can figure that part out. But for notary, what is it that you post to not necessarily be salesy, but to get yourself out there? Because, you know, social media brings the people, so they say. Right. Okay. So, yes, there is a social media content calendar on the platform that I stole from my real estate Um <laughs> people. And let me see if I can find it. It's in the social media marketing for notaries class. And it's a spreadsheet. And what realtors have to do is constantly be posting and posting and posting. So what I did is I took that platform, I mean, I'm sorry, I took that template. It gives you these jogging questions to ask, to be able to create, you know, post in Canva around those topics. So let me just see if I can't find it. There's so much in here. There it is. 30-day social media marketing calendar. So let me show you what that looks like. And that's in the social media marketing for notaries class. You have to click to ask for uh, a link to it. But so here's, so here's what it is. I just took a real estate calendar. It was already printed on that most of us realtors use to kind of come up with content. And I just developed it for the notary. So on day one, you want to teach something. Here's your prompt. Update your audience about how your industry works in the winter. Two, give advice, uh, a hobby you love and why you love it. Ask the audience the same. These are just things to give you, it, give you the start on what to create as far as your post. From here, you take your idea that you come up with and you go create a Canva, Facebook specific post for it and you set it up on auto. You wanna do this on a Monday, 
get your, you know, maybe do a week at a time, use this as a kind of a guide. Number 10, 10 day 10 advice, you're rotating between teach, sell, teach something about you, teach them something, give them advice about something, tell them something about you so they can get to know you, then, then sell them on you as, a, as far as being a credible professional. So these are all these prompts that you're gonna be rotating um, throughout the month. So it's not, oh, I'm a notary, come let me be your notary. Like for this one, you could say, uh, something you're excited about buying this month. Oh my goodness, I want to get a canner because my grandmother taught me how to can. That lets you take it out of the notary space, get content that not necessarily is related to notary, but it's keeping you top of mind because you're posting it on your business page and hopefully sharing it to your personal page. So hey, I Monica, can I do one last little tiny plug? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Some of the things that you're talking about here, I've actually got guest speakers coming on for the notaries on the platform. Nice. So like my social media guy is going to do a class on August 3rd for the notaries on the platform that talks about how to increase exposure of your posts. Cause he's been able to increase my exposure by 900% without me having to pay for ads. What? Wow. Monica, sound like y'all need to have a conversation. What are you waiting on? We really do, because that's that's what I'm talking about. Because if you don't have to pay for ads and you're increasing your exposure, I'm so intrigued. So yeah, too. Yeah. Amy, so I'm that's that he's gonna do that on August 3rd, just so everyone knows. But I'll, yeah. I'll um you, Amy, if we can get you to come on the platform and do a hour and a half training on cyberizing. On the, you know what? You let me know oh, when, and I'll, I'll be there. Yeah, that's what I want. I want. I want people to see because that's nobody, no other platform gives the notary an opportunity to learn about it before they pull the trigger. I think that would really be awesome. I think that would be super, super cool. So cool. And we need to talk to that guy too. So we don't need you to share your love now. <laughs> okay. Anybody got anything else? Yes, Dorothy. Dorothy, get your hand back up, Miss Dorothy Renee. Okay, um, I wanted to also share that earlier when I did that um, real to Zoom call this morning, I also learned something about the digital business card. Um, they talk about getting it through Shuffle. And a lot of our agents um, in our home office in Florida, they are using the digital business card in place of getting a website because it's much cheaper. It also does everything that your website would do. You could create a QR code you can set it up to where it will notify you of how many people have visited your um, business card. And you can also send out different campaigns. So like we're talking about um, asking different attorneys to give us a chance to perform some services for them. You can create a campaign with that as well. Um, I think it's about like $30 a month, but you just have to take the time out to set it up. So I'm thinking about setting mine up like that and canceling my my uh, website subscription because I pay about $60 a month for my website. Smart move. Um, and just so that you all know, I was all about the website until I learned about ClickFunnels, but apparently websites are not the thing anymore. They are 1990. And nobody goes to your website and, and, and it purchases from you. They don't make buying decisions from websites anymore, not unless you're on Amazon, right? So what the trend is, is you're, you move from the static website, just like Dorothy was explaining, to things like this stat, to, the, to, a, to a digital business card or a, just a simple landing page, which technically is a website, or a sales funnel. So that when people go there, they're triggered to do other things, right? Give you an email, buy a product, um, schedule an appointment, right? So that just confirms for me, Dorothy, that that trend is real just hearing that they're doing these digital business cards now instead of a website, because honestly, I'm not getting any business from my website. I'm pointing people to a website in order to conduct business, but it's not coming from the website. And I think we spend a lot of time developing our websites, getting all of our stuff on there, and then we sit and we wait. But if we, if we think about it and we look back on it, how much business are we actually getting from the site itself? And it's probably not as much. It's more probably coming from a Google My Business exposure or a referral or something like that. So 
Don't, don't, don't feel like you got to spend a lot of time developing a website. This digital business card is an excellent idea. Look into click funnels. There's all kinds of other ways to have an online presence. Margaret, yes. Hi, good evening. I was trying to figure out how to ask you um, as a new, um, well, like I said, new, I haven't even received all of the training yet, but I was trying to figure out how the new notary could be included in uh, what you're having coming up in, uh, I think it's September, you said? Yes. Yes. The Good. platform, yeah. But like, it, we, we won't, I know we won't be ready by then, but is there a way we can be included? Yes, yes, absolutely. So first and foremost, to get in the network, all you have to do is be a member of Notary Nerds University, right? So if you join and you start learning, that's going to help you out because you're going to automatically get in this network and now I'm going to be marketing for some attorneys for you and you might get a call and that might be your key to getting your direct business started. But so what you want to do, even though you're new, what you want to do since you know this is coming is you want to just be real confident in your state notarial law. So make sure you go ahead and order, if you haven't already, your, um, your, your state's notary primer, okay? And have that as a reference, but also go on, uh, once you go to Notary Nerds, in the classes that Sebastian teaches, and they don't cost anything, you're going to learn some of the basics about becoming a notary. Just if you can get that down, because you're going to get in that network anyway, ready or not, right? If you create your profile, that means you're in there. So you're going to have to be ready in case somebody calls you. So at least if you have that basic foundation, know how to be a good notary in your state down, then everything else will just take care of itself. So um, I would say, yes, new notaries, you are you're going to be 100% involved in what we have going on in September. However, you're going to feel like you're drowning if you don't do some work starting now on understanding your state notary law okay okay so, okay so i don't know if i received the email that i i'm a, um, a paid member but you said you sent out an email yeah i sent out an email and sometimes what happens is when you sign up not everybody subscribes to receive the email so next when you log into your your notary nerd university you go up click on your avatar go to your settings and make sure that you are subscribed to receive emails from notary nerd university I will be sending out another uh, uh, blast email on the, um, have you, you haven't gotten an email to sign up on the network at all, right? No, I didn't. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll go back and check and see. Give me your uh, email that you signed up with. Let me write it down. And I'll check it right now. Or if you want to, you can drop it in the chat. Sure. All right, while she's doing that, what else we got? Miss, Mrs. M. Green at AOL.com. Okay, let me check real quick. Anybody else got anything exciting, a win that they had, anything that they want to share? All right. Well, that's good. Well, I did my second um, notary signing today. Yeah. It was on a uh, refinance on a car loan. Good for you. Where did you get the deal? Where did it come from? It came through um, SnapDoc. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's see here. It came through SnapDoc. Okay, I'm supposed to be looking at MS Green. See how quick I get off? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I got ADHD. But if you were born in the 70s and you grew up in the 80s and 90s, you didn't get diagnosed with stuff. So it takes me a second to stay focused, but, um, but once I get there, I'm good. Okay, MS Green. Mrs., not MS. Okay, let me go back. It's because I've got all these screens open and I don't know. At AOL.com. That's correct. All right. So I'm not seeing you under people. Would you have by chance signed up under another email? Oh, no. I, I get all your emails. 
Oh, I left off the M. Mrs. M. Green. That yes, was, yes. That was my fault. Hold on just a second. Mrs. M. Green. And Monica, while you're looking that up, everyone, I did post the um, affiliate link in the chat if you want to sign up for that digital business card. It um, gives you a discount instead of you paying $30. If you use this link that I posted, it, you could get it for $20 per month. Okay, Mrs. M. Green, you supposed to have got that email. So let me just send this copy email address. And then someone else wanted me to check. So y'all drop your email in the uh, do file for me. Thank and you, Mark. You're welcome. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Let me get your email typed up here. Invitation to Notary Nerves Network. And we will send that there, paste. All right. And then just let me know that you got it okay here in just a second. You guys, I am super, super, super excited. Every time I talk to y'all, I just feel even more empowered and feel more positive about everything that we got going on because I don't know if you guys noticed, but we've been doing this for a while and we ain't had no drama. Have you noticed that? We have not, we have been able to notice that. It's been wonderful. <laughs> it's been wonderful for real. And I'll be hearing horror stories of the other people. They can't have a simple meeting. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like, I have never, for, I mean, we've been doing this in Zara. You've been down from the very first meet and greet in Sebastian. They've been, mm -hmm. Zara and Sebastian and, and Narisa. Miss Violet came in too around January, but Zara. I did, I came in in January. But Zara and, and Sebastian and, and were around in, in, in October, November. And when I tell you guys that the, I don't know, just that alone makes me want to make sure I do whatever I can to help see them win because they were so encouraging. You can do it. You can help us figure it out. Where do you That's right. They kept me so motivated and so it's so important for those of you who have uh, people that are maybe not as positive in your space to get to stay, make sure you stay as uh, surrounded with people like this in this kind of environment as possible, because I don't know that I would have been as motivated or encouraged had I not had a Zara or a Sebastian coming, you know, this is what you even Miss Dominique, even though she's not here, but even Dominique, you can't forget Miss Dominique. Can't forget Miss Dominique. And you know what? She is doing big things on Clubhouse. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Very big things on Clubhouse. Mrs. Green, did you get your uh, email okay? I just sent it. I, I didn't see, but I think I do see something that was sent earlier. It says become a subscribing member. Does it say that at the bottom and it says attorney website preview? Or is that just an announcement? Yeah, that was just an announcement. You oh, want, okay. Yeah, you want the email I just sent. Um, um, it should be coming shortly. All right. Is it Hernandez, clever notary at gmail? Somebody needs to go on mute. Let me see. Um, okay, there we go. Let's see here. Uh, clevernotary at gmail.com. Did you want me to check and see if I missed your email too? Let me see here. Miss yes, Monica, what day was this email sent out? Yeah, that's the better question. Yeah, when was yeah, it Yeah, because I could just go back and look. Yeah, yeah, it was sent out on invitation to join. Was sent out to yesterday. Oh, they no, I didn't see nothing from you about yesterday. July the, July the 20th at 4.06 p.m. Yeah, it was yesterday. That was just yesterday. Why don't you guys do this? Instead of me doing this one by one thing, why don't you just let me send it out again to everybody in the morning? Because I'm going to be fine. Okay, that's better. Yeah, yeah that way you want to do you it tonight. My, I don't, and I don't know the email I have on file for no, I mean, it, it should just be my business email, the Premier Inc. I, I don't know if that's it. I'm going to check it now. And I haven't seen Sebastian. How is he, Miss Monica? I haven't heard. I haven't seen. Well, he's on the call, but he's just been quiet. Yes, Zara, you are an active member at Notary Nerds University. Okay. 
Yeah, That's I didn't me. see that email, Monica. The only thing I got from you yesterday was regarding tonight. So maybe that one didn't come out. It may, and it, it, it's probably because you are um, got moderator status and you're granted on the Notary Nerves University. Okay, okay. Yeah. And gotcha. this for the, yeah, for the subscribing um, member. Gotcha, okay. Sebastian, I'm sorry, L. Lockett. Did you have a question? I didn't mean to skip over you. Um. Well, yes, I know uh, we talked earlier today. I don't know if I got, if you send out that email, will that help me get um, my major and my minor together? Or is this another page I need to go to? Yeah, this is another, this is a separate email no. from the Notary Nerds Network about joining the network and getting your profile up so that the attorneys can come and search for you. Now, I will. So different. Yes, it is different. Okay. But I will, I will be revisiting both of those topics. As a reminder, everybody know they got to August the 15th to claim their major, to declare their major and minor. And then I'll be sending out, excuse me, this other email, I mean, the um, invitation email um, and keeping you guys updated about that. But the main thing is that you can be doing right now is your social media, your branding. And they're both different, Ms. Yeah. Monica, but everyone needs to understand the severity of how necessary both of them are. There, y'all, no one wants to wait till January and we all done looked up and people saying they done made two, three thousand dollars, not hundred, because you said hundred. I'm like, no, I'm gonna make a thousand. Going thousand. <laughs> okay, we're going thousands of dollars a month. So it's very necessary that you plug in. I'm I'm having to go through the, the credits or I have to get what 38 credits. And right. it's a bit tedious for me, y'all, to go through a two-hour webinar when I could have did it live, but I'm just going through the motion because I said slow and steady. I keep telling myself slow and steady wins the race because I'm doing my personal work plus I'm having to I'm, I feel like I'm going to college for, right. for no exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, so I'm yeah, having I think it's all college. it's gonna be worth it in the end, so <laughs> yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. So everyone is necessary. <laughs> I want to shout, I want to shout Zara out real quick. Y'all see my screen. November the 6th, 2020. Oh, there she go, November oh, 6th. I didn't come so. in until January. No, I'm talking about day one, day one, day one. And when I tell you she didn't know which direction she was going as far as what her business she wanted to do, she did not know. She wanted structure. She kept, honestly, Zara would wear my nerves out. I ain't going to even lie. Because... <laughs> I was like her stepchild. Her little sister kept aggravating her. I'm like, come on. And Miss Monica, like, girl, if you don't be quiet, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> if you hadn't aggravated me, we wouldn't be where we are today because there's always that one person that pushes you, that makes you have to think ahead. And exactly. That's and you already knew every one of us was going to have something for you. Right. Well, Martin. I have to say this. I... I didn't mean to push you so today earlier, but I want to apologize because I know your time is precious and I know you are busy and everything, but I do want to ask you if you want to be a part of something. So I never asked you and I had to repent to God help me because I included Monica in something and I don't even know her calendar and I just got her all tied up. Oh, did y'all. She called me up we got a meeting tomorrow at nine o'clock. And I was like, oh, let me check my calendar. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know what? And and I have to say, I didn't even ask her. But I just put her on the calendar and I'm like, oh my God, we got a I meeting. I apologize for that. That was excitement because you got a great opportunity and you needed to get, you didn't want to lose it. And you did the right thing and you didn't have anybody else to reach out to. So I, I told him to get it. And it's tomorrow morning. We're going to have our meeting. We're going to figure out what we need to figure out. So yes, thank no you. Needed. Thank all, you. All grace. I had to say it though. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Because I do, I do respect you and I respect your time and things that you're doing for us in the Notary Nurse University. I appreciate all of that. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. And Miss Miss Margaret, you're going to be the last one. It's 10.05. Oh, I'm it's sorry. I didn't take my hand down. Oh, okay. Good night, everyone. Thank you, Miss Violet. See y'all tomorrow. Bye -bye. Good night. Thank Bye. you. Save the chat. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm gone. Bye. Bye.